Hey there, welcome to Age of Mythology. Good to have you here. Uh, today, I'm playing a little bit of Gaia, playing a little bit of ranked 1v1s. When I first started playing this game, I wasn't too worried about like the god or the race that I picked. I just kind of wanted to mess around with them and find one that I vibed with and see how like good I did with them. And the more I've played the game and the more I see the patch notes, the more I think to myself, I don't think I made a good decision in picking Gaia. Part of the reason that I think that is because is because in the first two patch notes, Gaia has received very big buffs. <laughs> and it's got me a little worried that perhaps I didn't pick the best god. Now, that's fine because I like Lush and they seem to be buffing the hell out of Gaia. So it seems to be something that I can like work with and work around. But it's it's definitely it's definitely something that I've taken note of. I'm I'm playing the game on hard mode. So what I'm gonna try to uh what I'm hoping though is that off the back of the buffs, the big ones are that this economic guild costs half as much as it used to, which is a pretty big buff, at least for Gaia. And then another big one is that um uh all the like resources or the research upgrades cost an extra or like an extra five percent cheaper than they already were and they were already cheap okay so you're just fucking around doing nothing i'm gonna send you over to build a house this way then get back on mining a downside to the buffs is I've got no idea, like, what a good build order is anymore. And from my very brief research into Gaia in the past, there weren't a lot of build orders out there anyways. Probably because of that previous reason, being that, you know, Gaia wasn't very good. I'll get one more villager on trees, and then I'll start pumping, I'll start pumping wood again. Definitely, I also, like, I don't know what the optimal way to go about this is. I think I go from them onto deer, onto berries, because I think berries is actually one of the slower methods of farming. But I'm not entirely positive about that. We're both sending our scouts across. Periodically, uh, you know, growing stuff. I'm going to build, like, a tree line over here. And I've got four AFK villagers. Send them over here now. Nice of my town center to help out with that. And I'm uh, going to keep pumping resources. I can build a temple. I should get that online as soon as I can. Send these pigs back across the map. And I've scouted enough of them. Like, I'll send this guy back down the uh, lack of vision cone or whatever. But I'm going to start pulling my oracles back now, I think. Keep producing workers. I think I can just... How much gold do I need? I just need food, right? So I can just cancel this and age up. And I cut, like, 10 seconds off of my worker production time. Uh, I'm going to walk this oracle with the pigs back. And then switch this one into the place the other one would have been. Walk these pigs back home as well. And I can also get that husbandry upgrade because I got my cows. Or I got like a whole bunch of pigs and I got uh, sending everybody back home. I found it's a little bit ahead of me age-wise. I'm not super worried about what kind of army they're going to put out, though, because in my experience, Atlanteans don't really hit until, like, age 3, but then they start hitting really hard. I could be wrong about that, though. Uh, get my two barracks. And then I'm going to need a lot of food. I'm going to need a lot of wood. And I'm going to need a lot of gold. So I'm just going to grab all these upgrades. 
Get my economy pumping as much as I can. Promethean? Got one of his clay dudes over here. So he might send that in to harass at some point. So I need to ideally get some soldiers out and existing. So I'll start producing them as soon as I can. The downside is I can't produce too many soldiers, or I'm just going to get kind of ran over. Or, uh, like, I'll just get outproduced economy-wise. i got to kind of strike a balance here. Uh, I'll get the bleed upgrade, and I'll get another soldier. I'm going to have to build a house. So I'll build it, like, over here. I don't have enough wood yet, though. These guys are all AFK, so I send them over to the bushes. I can now build that house that I wanted to build, so I'll build it over by these deer. I'm kind of messing with my food production here, but I'll get them all back onto it in a second. Yuji, Ozmark. Get them hitting up there. Go target this oracle. Uh, you can start hunting, I guess, so that I have a villager in the area working on food. I've got a lot of food production now, in comparison to my other resources at least. So I'm gonna start getting more wood and gold online. Scorpos, Elsto. Uh, I don't know where his other... Okay, so I kind of have an idea of where his other scouts are now. Bring it over here to try to kill his other oracle. Build two more soldiers. He's not really paying attention to it, so I'm going to catch that oracle as well. Uh, get the upgrade here. I need to have like some kind of military online, which I think I've got about enough by now, but I'm going to make like two more before I start working on my next age. I definitely need to specifically target gold. I can swap a few villagers off of it. Swap like three onto gold and then put any new villagers I make onto wood production. And now I should be able to start pumping pretty much whatever I want in the mid game here. Oh, I ran out of. I can send these guys over to the deer. Be kind of greedy with the pigs, let them keep fattening up. Uh, I need to build another house though. So I guess I'll build one over here so that I can keep the lush chain going and then they can get onto the berry bushes. And I can go grab this pig off to the edge as well. I think I've got enough uh, enough soldiers here. I don't really have to worry about them. Keep grabbing upgrades. Although I do, if I want to get to the next age, I do have to get an armory at some point. Put my oracle up here for a little bit of forward vision. Send the pig back to my house. Uh, get this villager helping on the deer. It might not actually be enough soldiers, but I don't know what would be, so I gotta just kind of hope. Get a second one of these guys so that they can heal each other if one of them gets damaged. The little, uh, the flying things, the Caladria. I don't think I can get this upgrade yet. I can, I can. Okay, so he's getting some anti-infantry. He's got, uh, the anti-buildings. Gotta go catch the hero one, and then I can turn it on to the rest of the stuff that he's built. Alright, so I kind of dealt with his early aggression by the looks of it. Uh, I'm going to need to build another house forward, just keep creeping. I think they made the manors a lot cheaper too, but I think I'm also wrong about that, so take that. Take any balance information, I say, with a grain of salt. Although I can definitely get this upgrade the second that fucking armory is online.
uh, get more villagers on gold. All of you are done with the deer you are on. You can work on these together. They can start creeping forward again. And then I grab this tier 3 upgrade. After they build a house, they'll build my second town center so I can start pumping villagers a lot faster. Start building more soldiers so that I've got more of an army to churn through. Get a third one of these so that I have another slow online. I mostly just want to save my money so that I can start getting archers because I'm definitely going to need them. What were you doing over there? They're all full healed, but I'm worried that he built something over here, so I'm going to go move my army to go check it out. Uh, you two aren't doing anything right now, so I'm going to get more military production in the back of my base. Oh, look at that. He's building military units. That's kind of messed up. I think I'm winning off of the back of upgrades here, but I could also be very, very wrong about that. Double produce archers. Start destroying his god power building. Uh, I've got AFK workers. I don't know where the next gold mine is. It's over here. He's just trying to get scouting information because he knows they're all going to die, I assume. Uh, get more upgrades. I don't really think there's anything I have to worry about. Path my whole army to the front lines here. And then I need more gold. Uh, this base isn't auto producing villagers. I gotta send more over this way. Most of these villagers aren't doing anything. Okay, you guys all working on this deer. Uh, I can get the next upgrades here for golden wood. So I can just keep pumping units. I've won pretty much all of my military engagements, which is really good for me. I felt like I would have struggled with that last patch, but I also could just be better at, um, like, actually fighting now. Tower attack against meth units seems pretty good. I think I have a, yeah, I have a worker here that can grab that. I might as well grab it. Two more archers, grab the melee upgrade. Uh, all of you onto bushes, and I can start on farms soon-ish. But I mostly just want to produce a bunch of archers. Get the piercing attack upgrade. Um, I probably have enough villagers. I have enough villagers on gold, but I'm going to get two more anyways. And then I'm going to start just double producing for this base. Get them farming. Oh no, I'll double produce at uh, my main base so that I can get them all on pigs. So he just hit age three. Uh, I'm going super strong on my economy. He spent a lot to get to the point that he's at. One of these villagers. Oh no, he can fit. Right? Okay, one of my villagers can't fit on here, so I need to just be working on pigs anyways. I'll probably need more wood at some point, but for now I'm fine. Get a bunch more archers, get the archer upgrade, get another upgrade here. All of you can come back to the home and start making farms, as, or uh, working on the pigs as well. Then start working on the farms. I can get the farming upgrades. 
I need more manners. Looks like he's got a gold thing set up across the map. I'm going to start sending manners this way, and I'm going to send my army out this way. I want to, like, kind of creep my manners towards the center of the map, I think. I'll build, like, another one over here. Path them around to food so that I'm actually constantly producing. Uh, I think I start getting more frontline instead of what I've already got. Let's go destroy this portal. Uh, build another, like, ramming unit. Also, Yuji. Work towards this town center because he's got a scout over there. Uh, I think produce like two villagers at a time for wood now because I've got a lot of food production as well. So we're building a town center over here. I'm pretty sure I've got a bigger army just hands down, but that's something I'll have to figure out. Start building a castle over here. Build another Triceratops dude. And I need more of a front line, I think, still. He knows what I'm building, but I've destroyed a lot of what he's got to stop it with. I can hero all of the archers, I think. Or at least a lot of them. Pretty sure I'm just gonna run through whatever he's got here. I've got enough of a front line, and my archers are still hitting. I don't think he can really stop me, but I'm also not sure. Uh, they mined out another gold patch, so I gotta send him over here. These guys can catch villagers. I can work on destroying this castle. Keep producing like four at a time. I can get a lot more archers than I have. Uh, start transitioning villagers over to food. Or like farms for food. I don't think the game's gonna go on much longer than this. Need to get to uh, destroying his military production, I think. Kind of fucking up his main base. Send my main army over to destroy uh, more military production. And I win. That's game. You know, I had uh, I had some good holdouts. I had way more gold than I needed, but that's okay. I also had uh, about like 10 to 15 more villagers than I needed. And I was just sitting in age three for pretty much forever. I could have probably eventually gotten to the next, but I just wanted to keep pumping up my army and get heading towards supply cap off of the back of the, uh, the good early trades I took. Yeah, it looked like here I was mostly keeping up with his army. Just kind of in general, anything he produced, I was putting down. And then he tried to attack me when he was a little bit ahead of me, but it was on, uh, like, I had the defensive advantage. And then I just, you know, kept slowly producing, kept pumping up my economy. He hit his age three, like, two minutes later than me. So it was a good game overall. Anyways, the new Gaia buffs, uh, off the back of the couple of games I've played now, have felt pretty good. Although, I don't know how much of that is just my opponents not having good, like, rush timings for H2, and how much of that is me actually, like, defending well. 
I'll I'll have to see when I start losing what my issues are on the new patch. But other than that, hit that like button if you stuck around this long. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of me. I've been playing a lot of RTS games recently. Street Fighter just popped up back on my radar. I still have to beat Black Myth Wukong. Got some Apex videos to edit. You know, just like uh whatever I'm up or whatever I'm playing, whatever I'm editing at the time. That's what uh that's what the day's content's gonna be. Thank you for joining me one last time and have a lovely morning, noon, or night. Peace.